black men get the white women that other white men genuinely do not want. You don't get the top of the line white women. You don't. You get leftovers. Look at most of our celebrities. They don't. They did not marry women who came from the richest white families. Black money and white money don't behave the same. New black money will jump on any poor white girl and make her a billionaire, Tiger Woods. <laughs> rich white woman, rich white money doesn't operate that way. You no interracial relationship is acceptable because we have too many black women who are unmarried. Black women are the largest population on the planet Earth. If you can't find one in America, get it from Africa. If you can't get it from Africa, go to the Caribbean, go to Canada, go to Europe. Why would a black man need to copulate, build a family with anything other than a black woman when you have so many black women available? It is an exercise in self-hatred. There's no way to get around it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as for the title guys, you can see in today's video, we're going to be talking about the James family because you guys know that all of these athletes, they're currently in Paris for the Olympics and naturally LeBron James, his son, Brony, that you're viewing here, we already know that this male, like so many self-hating black male, we already know that they don't really see any value within black women, right? So you guys do remember, I will say maybe a year or two ago, he were basically out here with his Becky that you're viewing here on the screen. They decided that they were going to go to prom together. And naturally the internet went into a frenzy, which I'm not really sure why, because have you guys not learned that these these men literally they're obsessed with anything that isn't necessarily black we have been talking for the longest that these male unfortunately they hate themselves and unfortunately by extension that mean that they also hate us as black women but unfortunately it seemed like regardless of these male being extremely vocal about the fact that they don't like black women that they don't want to date black women that they definitely don't want to marry black women it seemed like whenever these type of stuff happen for the most part it really seemed like people still are really being shock out here personally nothing that these male really does shocks me anymore the only thing i would do say would shock me if these male as a collective were to do is that if they come together and as a collective they go out here they build they're in mass they start to get job they start to go out here and get degree but, but unfortunately anything for these male that is low effort unfortunately i'm not really shocked when they're the number one participating in that and like i have been telling you guys for the longest lebron james unfortunately i do feel like this man is living vicariously through his son because as you guys can see here there was also lebron he went to the prom with one of his preference this is why recently i made a video talking about the fact that i think the reason why his beautiful wife savannah the reason why i truly feel like she's consistently out here wearing blonde hair it's because she know that LeBron James, unfortunately, like all of these other self-hating black males out here, I'm pretty sure she know for a fact that she is not this male preference. But unfortunately, I guess at this time and age, you know, she's been with him ever since they were in high school. So unfortunately, I think that, you know, now that she unfortunately has created a family with him, I guess she kind of feels stuck in the whole situation. But you guys do remember the reason why I came up with that concept of that video is because after Tamar Braxton, she decided that she was going to divorce her overweight Dusty. She came out and basically confessed that the reason why she was consistently doing that is because her overweight Dusty, he was obsessed with blonde hair and blue eyes. And naturally, Tamar is a black woman. She don't have any of them. And that is truly why I feel like Savannah Jean, she's also in that predicament. And I know that you guys had a lot to say when I say that. And and I know for a fact, us as women, whenever there's a different season, we want to switch things up. But if you guys notice Savannah, for what I would say maybe the past year and a half, two years now, she has been wearing nothing but blonde hair. And hey, I know to each his own. But back to these self-hating male, as you guys can see, these male are still teenager. But unfortunately, like the culture, it is so powerful, right? This is why it is oftentimes say that regardless of these self-hating male being in the house when they're growing up 
Unfortunately, we see that regardless of that, we know that indeed the culture influence is something that is basically going to soak this meal up. So and naturally, the youngest son, just like his self-hating father, as well as his older brother, you can see that he's also following into their footsteps. And yes, you guys can come on here and say, well, they're not snow bunnies, blah, 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 but they're not black women. That is the whole point. How come we can't see these self-hating male with a black woman with their complexion or the complexion of their mother? Which only reinforces what me and so many other black women has been saying on this platform for the longest. The reason why we will consistently be seeing these self-hating boys that eventually are going to grow up to be grown men. The reason why we see them with all of these women that looks absolutely nothing like them as well as their mother is because indeed these men want to make away from their blackness and the only reason that they can do that is by completely cutting off black women. Another excuse that these male tend to use as to why we don't see them with black women is because they're in a complete different tax bracket and unfortunately there's not a lot of black people that are or in these tax brackets which I also call bullshit because I think it is quite interesting how these male will literally get the lowest hanging Becky, Marie, and Ling Ling that unfortunately has been discarded from the male within their own community. But when it comes to these type of topic, they like to be saying, oh, well, the only reason why we're not dating black women is there's no black woman in my surrounding, again, which is quite bullshit. So but I also wanted to incorporate this clip here with this least producing males of society that naturally he just can't go on and talk about them as a collective being self-hating and the reason why they tend to go out here and choose the least selected of their community is indeed because they hate themselves they always have to bring up us black women within the whole mix so guys listen to what this least producing male had to say and then we will come back with more this picture of Bronnie has been going viral for obvious reasons i'm gonna read you an opinion from a young bright lady off of twitter she says, and I quote, his mama, one of the baddest black women on the planet, and he stays with a Mayo girl. Now, Miss Lady, I don't know who you are or where you grew up, but from where I'm from, Mayo typically means Caucasian. And as y'all can see, this girl, to me, does not look Caucasian. She looks like she could be mixed, maybe Latina, but for the purpose of this video, that doesn't matter. What really matters is, is that we, and I say we as in black men, are constantly being ridiculed for the people that we date. If we date outside of our race, we are looked at as a coon, as you don't like black women. But if we do date within our race, we're getting ridiculed, for example, like Simone Biles' husband for wearing Simone Biles' gold medal. So in this case, it seems like black men cannot win in any situation. I'm trying to understand where the disconnect here, because if we do or if we don't, we're still damned. But if roles were reversed and Bronnie was a white man and she was a black woman, all the women in the comments will be like, Yes, queen, go get your man. He's a king. You deserve the best. I just don't understand y'all anymore, and I'm tired of this rhetoric. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And as you guys saw, the original commentator basically said, even though these self-hating young men their mother is literally one of the beautifulest black women to ever walk this earth they still can't go out there and choose someone that looked like her and y'all saw he couldn't really keep it at that he couldn't really say well what about love because we already know that that's the rhetoric that they're consistently putting out here right which i also think is very hypocritical because when it is one of them the least producing males of society Society that are out here with these preference that don't really prefer them the only thing that these preference prefer is the lifestyle that they can potentially give them I think it is quite interesting how when it is one of them with one of their preference they're always saying oh love is love and let it be like you know whatever but when it is one of us black women Oh, our ancestor will be so disappointed. They're rolling over in their grave. Just the hypocrisy. And black woman, this is exactly why 
I will continue to come out here and tell you ladies to go out here, choose other group of men because there's so much better group of men out here that are just waiting to put you on that pedestal that you belong. But unfortunately, as y'all continue to be this ride or die for these meals that wouldn't even spit on you if you were on fire, as you guys can see, these males from very early on, they're showing us exactly who they prefer, who they value. We already know that the older these young men tend to get, the lighter their partner are gonna get, right? So guys, this is all that I have to say on this whole situation, but I would love to hear what you guys have to say about LeBron James' son basically dating the type of woman that they know for a fact are their father preference. And like I mentioned previously, no one can convince me otherwise because had it not been the case, we wouldn't consistently be having all of these preference out here trying to expose LeBron James. But unfortunately, because I do have to give him credit, he do have a very good team behind him. This is why they always tend to bury the story because no one on this planet Earth can convince me that LeBron James don't have some of his preference out here. But nonetheless, guys, this is all that I have to say on this whole situation. What do you think about LeBron James? I think from the sideline, just looking, watching, and living vicariously through him son. I think that obviously at this point for him, it's all about the optics, you know, because we don't necessarily see these type of male out here with an actual black woman. So I guess LeBron feel like he has to be the poster child for that. Hey guys, what are your thoughts and opinion are? Please get in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Black women, it's time to hold ourselves accountable because we are reaping what we sowed. We have lied and gassed black men up for centuries, letting them think that they are kings with no kingdoms, letting them think that they are the emperor when they are naked. And now we are dealing with the consequences of those actions. Instead of being honest with black men and requiring them to do better for not only themselves, but the community that they help create, we have allowed them to tear it apart and then put it back together quietly behind their backs and then still let them get the credit for it.